Hey everyone. Uh, today I'm going to go over with you the uh, the outline and how to uh, format it, what you're doing on it, and how to find your sources. Uh, I'm at school. The bell's going to ring in a little bit. You might hear a bell ring. That's okay. Okay. Um, so let's let's see. Let's go through this. Okay. So go to you know the main page on Blackboard English. 1101 and you want to go down to lesson three argumentative essay and in here um where you're working on by this point you should know which candidate you are voting for or that you're gonna write in okay and so um when i provide let's see here i there's two of them. There's two docs here. Uh, some of you might have already clicked on the outline doc, uh, and I'm gonna double check to see if that's the same one that I just posted. Um, if it's not, I'm going to delete that one. Because I made one that is in total MLA formatting and um, oh yes yeah, same thing it's absolutely the same thing okay cool so it doesn't matter which of those outlines if you click that one or you click that one it's the same thing okay um, but here I have provided with you an example of the way yours should look so you should definitely download this to make sure that yours looks similar and then I'm going to show you what I did to create it. Okay. So this is my outline. My outline is three pages long. Okay. This is how yours should look. All right. Um, if we hold them up side by side, side by side. Okay. Okay, we have so we have the page, last name page number, which people are still you, some of you are still not putting that on your essays. Last name page number. I'm using the last name Smith. First and last name Elliot Smith. Mr. Byers, that's me, Mr. Byers, and there's someone one and the due date. Argument essay outline. Okay. So on the blank outline, we have uh, these are things that you need to provide. Okay, background information on topic. All right, and then um, this deals with your uh, main idea. All right, background information on topic. Oh, and the thesis. Okay, so um, I provide my background. Uh, there are too many old white boomer males in Congress and as president, so we need someone that brings a different perspective to America. Alexandria Casio Cortez, also known as AOC. Um, and so I am saying that uh, that's my, my reasoning for writing her name in. And then um, my uh, three points that I'm, that I'm making about her. My reason, my three reasons why I'm gonna vote for her. I say that she brings a new perspective. Um, she focuses on human rights, um, and then she promotes higher education for everyone. Okay, um, which actually I'm gonna change that because I think my last one is. Oh yeah, no, it is. It is. Okay, cool. All right, so. Um, then part two is opponent's claim. The current um, the opponent's claim. You kind of have to state. It's kind of like doing doing the rebuttal, but sooner. You state what is the uh, current sort of like situation. All right. Um, and so for me, I put the current administration is centered on appeasing a one-dimensional perspective, meaning men. Okay. So then I have this quote that discusses how there are very few women 
who are in um, who are winning seats in politics, and that um, of the groups that do have more women, uh, is it's um, the, Repo the Democratic Party that has the most. Okay. Um, and that uh, the Republicans have even fewer, fewer women. So we need more women. And then I have a citation. My citation is the article that I used for this quote. This is a direct quote. So you have quotation marks. This is a direct quote from this article. Why can't Republicans elect women? So for your outline, you, you, you're going to actually find sources for your outline. And you are going to put a quote in your outline that, that you plan on using in your essay. Okay. And then um, now some people are using, some people are putting sources on their works cited page as if um, they read that and it influenced them, but they didn't actually use it in their paper. Okay. The quotes that you put on your outline are actually going to be integrated into your actual paper, even though they might be short. Like this, if I was writing this paper, I wouldn't probably use this entire quote. That's a real long quote. I would shorten it. Um, but I'm not going to shorten out my outline. I'm going to leave the whole thing on my outline because that, that's what's helping me sort of um, uh, direct me into what I'm going to be talking about in my essay. Now, by, by including the citation, the proper citation in your outline that will make writing your works at a page very easy because then you'll just have to copy and paste citations from your outline and then post them at the bottom at the end of your essay okay so then i have this uh, my my third paragraph is going to be talking about how never has there been a woman or hispanic president and then i have this quote that uh that supports that idea about why it's important to have um, uh, diversity. And then I have, and that quote came from this, this article right here, examining the roles gender and race play in political discourse. Okay. And the same thing, I have my, I have my, for my fourth body paragraph, I have my third, I'm sorry, my second point that I'm making about my candidate. Then I have a support. I have a quote that supports that idea. And then I have the citation. And then same thing. I have what what uh, I am my point that I'm making. I have a quote from the research. And then I have the citation. So the way I wrote this was at first I wrote my main points, things that like I knew that that I wanted to talk about. And then I found research that supported it. Okay. And um, the first place that I want you to look for research is Galileo. So let me show you. All right. So um, when you log into uh, Quant Tech, um, I go to my apps, I go to GTC Library. And um, I go to, to Galileo. See, I'm here. And I click on Galileo. No, I don't need help. Thanks. Okay. And then, see, I, I searched up demographics of Republican Party. That is what I'll, I'm going to be using to discuss, argue my, po my opponent's claim. Okay. I'm arguing that, that the current state of, of the Republican Party is too many women. I'm sorry, too many men, not enough women. So when I do this search, though, okay, look, there's 16,000 results, 16,000, but I can reduce those, okay? For one, I'm going to look at, I want it to be full text, so I don't want any, I don't want a summary. I need the actual full text of the article. That reduces it to 13,000, 
And then I want to make sure that it's a scholarly journal, meaning that it's a fair and balanced journal. Okay. That it's not just anybody who is submitting stuff. And so then that reduces it down to 2,000. And then also, you know, I'm really focused on this past administration from 2016 to 2020. So if I go down to publication date, this is when this article was published. It, the article is that I'm looking at. It's not when um, the information in it, what, what year is talking about. It's the year that was published. So I am going to move this from 1995 to the last four years. I want things that are real current. 2016 through 2020. That's when Trump was elected to right now. So then now that's reduced down to 2,000, <laughs> which is still a lot. Okay. Um, I can do subjects. All right. Uh, you can look at political. Uh, there's 86 that deal with political participation, 90 that deal with just uh, United States. Okay. Voting, government policy. I'll do political participation because I'm looking at like how what is the uh, demographics like okay that reduces down to 86 so then you know I can look through these I can um, look at the titles okay this is just disabilities I'm just reading these oh, there's the bell Okay, and so let's just say, let's just say, I like this one. Okay, let's just say I like this one. Look, abstract. The abstract is, a, is like the summary at the back of a book. You do not quote from the abstract. The abstract is not what you quote for. The, the abstract is just tells you what the article is about. See if you want to read more of it. Okay. So let's just say I do. I'll click on the PDF full text. Because, yeah, I clicked on earlier my searching just that I wanted full text. Okay. So then I read this. Okay. And I can look at it. And I don't have to read every single page. I see that, like, uh, there's uh, several contents. Okay. If, if, or maybe I want to look at the League of Women Voters. I just want to read B. That sounds like something that might relate to my whole thing about women and stuff. All right. Okay. So let's say I, I went down to part B and I read the League of Women Voters and I'm like, oh yeah, there's a quote in here that I definitely want to use. Okay. Well, then, like, I would just highlight, I would, I would highlight, I would uh, hit. Control copy on my on my keypad. I hold on control, hit C. I would go to my outline. I'd put it in wherever it goes on my outline. Whether it's my first claim, my second claim, my third claim. And then I would hit Control V, which is um, paste. And I'll make sure I add my quotation mark so I remember that this is a this is a uh, quote. Now this took place on page. I know there's like these like big page numbers right here, 16 out of 23. Okay, um, so that is the page number you would use if you um, if if this didn't have these kind of page numbers. If this was not a, a uh, an excerpt from a book, you would use these page numbers. If there's no page numbers printed, then you would use the the PDF page numbers. Okay. But because um, this page comes from this actual book that's actually on page 1,623, huge book, I'm going to use this page number, okay? So 1623. Now, page numbers go after quotation mark, but before the period. So I would do 1623 parentheses period that's how you do page numbers you have the quote then parentheses just the page number itself in parentheses and then period now I need the citation 
If you pull a text from Galileo, it's super easy to get the citation. It's super, super, super easy. You go over here and you push the little uh, piece of paper. Okay, see it says cite. Click on it. And then we have all our different formats. We have Brazilian National Standard. Didn't even know there was one. AMA, APA. Uh, that was what my uh, my wife always had to use APA. Um, Harvard. Our MLA. That's what we are. Modern Language Association. All you got to do is highlight it. All right. Copy. Go to your Outline, go to citation, hit enter, and then you can paste it. All right, paste like that. No, that's these all highlighted. Scroll your scroll over. All right, that's fine. We'll do that one for now. Okay. All right, so then there is your citation for this uh, quote. All right. Now you'll do that a couple more times for your claim number two and claim number three. But let's just say that, like, you don't want to use Galileo for all of them. Let's say you're having a hard time, a real hard time. Okay. Then you can go to your Internet Explorer. Okay. And, uh, Let's see, uh, I'm going to type in, let's say I search up race and gender in politics, okay? And let's say I, uh, I look at my, uh, my websites here, okay? If we're just looking at these three right here, okay, we have dissentmagazine.org, t and f online.com. And then we have Cambridge.org. So the Cambridge and the Dissent Magazine would be the more reliable sources to go into. All right. Um, so let's just say we click on Dissent Magazine. Okay. And so you read this. And uh, um, let's say you really like this quote. I'm not going to read what the quote is. I'm just showing you for the sake of showing you. Okay. Um, then you would, once again, copy, go to your outline, go to paste, okay, and now you have to cite the source, but see, it's a website, it's a website. So, if you go back to the E-Class page that we're on, not E-Class, uh, Blackboard, in lesson three, I posted a link to what's called EasyBib. Okay, if you click on it, it'll take you to this EasyBib website that will help you get a citation for a website. Now, look though, I'm in Internet Explorer, um, but I recommend opening up not Internet Explorer. Open up a different browser, um, like this one is Chrome. Um, it works better with Chrome, the extensions do. So put EasyBib into your web browser. And I've already done a few of these, so you're gonna, it's going to pop up in a moment with mine. All right, I'm going to go to Create Citations. Uh, we're going to pick Website because uh, I, I got my quote from a website. Now the websites you use, I posted a bunch of ones that you can use, and I, I and I, I showed a video about that. Um, you are not using websites like like Quote Finders or uh, Spark Notes or anything like that. Okay, you, you can use magazines um, and news and news uh, um, websites. Okay, nothing that that's like just a personal blog. So find your website. Put you. Uh, I went to my Dissent Magazine. I copied the address. I went to to back to EasyBib, where it says right here, find your website. I'm going to.
paste that web address right there. I'm going to hit search. And then it's going to pop up right here. And then you're just going to confirm. See, race and gender and politics. That's it. I'll click site. And I want to just hit continue. Hit continue. I'm going to be patient. Continue. Okay, it's building it. All right, uh, hit complete citation. However many times it takes to push it. Okay, then here it is. See, MLA. All right. This right here, this one. So I'm going to, uh, oh, I guess I did it twice back, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to copy citation. Okay, it's copied. I'm going to go to my document. And I'm going to go to paste. Let's see, I'm going, to, I'm going to keep, look, you can paste three different ways. I'm going to paste the one that's double spaced because that's the way it should be. And look, there it is. There's my citation for it. There's my citation. So I'm going to do that one more time. All right, so that's how you do it with uh, for an online source and then also through Galileo. And then you would have uh, a third one to do. So if you could uh, get all three of those finished that would be great and then uh post it in the document that i had uh given you all that's proper mla formatting then you post it through the submission link okay if you have any questions let me know thank you